Annie, it's two o'clock. Should we get started? Yes, go for it. Okay, excellent. Um, there, everybody's there. Okay. I am calling this meeting to order on June 17th at 2 p.m. Um, present is Natasha Yakleva for myself and Helen Kahn. And this call, Zoom call, is being recorded. Is there any public comment this afternoon? Excellent. Let's uh, move on then to our work with the applications. Agenda item number three, review and approval of the following on-premises alcohol, common, victualler, outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces. Today we have Local Burger Incorporated, 16 Main Street, Rias, I know we were told this last week and I forget, um, Bajas, LLC, DBA, Ibiza Tapas, 7 Strong Ave, very limited DBA, Fitzwilly. Oh, is there an echo? Okay. Um, very limited DBA, Fitzwillie's Toasted Owl, 23 Main Street, Veracruz Foods Incorporated, DBA, La Veracruzana, 31 Main Street, Sulrain Incorporated, DBA, Joe's Pizza, 33 Market Street, Mananto LLC, DBA, Hotel Northampton, 36 King Street, Abid Asab, DBA, Amanu Cafe, 44 Main Street, Roost Northampton, LLC, DBA, The Roost, 1 Market Street, Zingara Limited, DBA Packards, 14 Masonic Street, and Washa and Ware Incorporated, DBA Jake's Restaurant, 17 King Street. And we will be starting with Local Burger. Just uh, anyone that wasn't mentioned, it's because you're gonna be taken under new business. Um, so it wasn't on the agenda, but we, we still have you. Yep. <coughs> Is Jeff here? Yes, I am here. Hi, how are you? Good yourself. Good, are you talking you. about which Jeff? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff Ignary. Nope, I'm sorry. No. Wrong. That's okay. Then let's move on to... No, Jeff uh, is here. Yes. He is here? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Great. Can you okay. walk us through your application, please? Yes. Um, so we're looking to have five tables outside um, on Strong Avenue, um, around, around the corner. Uh, start with the picnic table first, which is a 48-inch table, followed by another 48-inch picnic table, and then two four tops beyond that, followed by two tops. Um, I believe the picnic tables are six feet apart, and the other tables have to be nine feet apart. The Board of Health stopped by yesterday to look at our setup and gave us approval on that. We have a sandwich board outside um, with our rules of what needs to be uh, done in order to use the tables. Uh, we'll have a table out there for our servers with um, spray for disinfecting the tables. Um, any ketchup bottles that go out will come out from the restaurant and will be for single use, bring it back in to disinfect. And we'll have one server dedicated to the outside table use to keep an eye on that. Um, our hours will be from 11.30 to 10 p.m. seven days a week. And that's it, I believe. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, obviously, masks will be used by all servers. Uh, anyone entering the restaurant will need a mask. Um, yeah. And that's it. Great. Helen, do you have any questions or comments? I don't. You said the health department has already come out and looked at that? Yeah, they came out yesterday. Um, oh, I'm okay. not sure why they did, but they just stopped by to see what we had going. They heard that we were applying and they stopped by to check it out. They said that's the first, the first step they, they did yesterday. They'll come back after approval and just go over it again. Okay. No, then I, I, I don't have any questions. I don't have any either. Alan, are you on the call today? Do you have anything to add? Um, I guess not, okay. I don't have much to add uh, other than I think that uh, folks were going out to take a look at these things before this, uh, uh, for this meeting because last time we had the issue with um, not knowing what was approved and so they yep. just wanted to make sure everything was lined up so that this could be approved quickly and expeditiously. So. That's very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yes, great. Then I will, uh, if we're ready, make a motion to approve the 
on-premise alcohol common victualler outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces for local burger incorporated at 16 main street right second all in favor aye, aye. great thank you okay thank you very much you're welcome thanks uh ibiza tapas next up homestead jeremy how are you doing well yourself well thank you so you want to walk us through your updated application? Yeah, so we're now um, applying for uh, seven tables outside, three of which uh, will be on the sidewalk immediately adjacent to our building. Uh, those are all two tops. Um, and then the space has, that has been uh, provided to us in those parking spots in front, uh, we're looking to do another four. So that's a total of seven tables out front. Those will also be two tops with the capability of uh, being a total of uh, 16 people. Uh, all of this has been uh, inspected and covered by the building department on Monday. Um, and we are going to put up a barrier uh, around tables so that they're separated from the sidewalk area. Great. All right. It certainly helps that the pre-checks have already been done because I have no questions. <laughs> right. Ellen. Yes, that moves things quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. You want to make a motion? Yeah, you just want me to try and pronounce that, don't you? Um, <laughs> I will make a motion. Bring it on me. <laughs> Let's just never get that under control. Yes. <laughs> so tell me one more time before I do it. How do you say it? Rhea Spikeshus. Spikeshus. Okay, Rhea Spikeshus. All right, I will make a motion to approve the, um, the on-premises alcohol common Vic outdoor dining expansion application. Um, for public spaces for Rias <laughs> Pictures. I already forgot LLC DBA Abiza Tapas at 7 Strong Avenue. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much. Good luck. It's Willie's. You want to walk us through your update today, your addition? Is Fred here? We had Fred. Oh, there you are. Oh, there Fred, you are. you're on mute. I just okay. unmuted you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Thank you. So, um, we would like to expand our outdoor dining. It's going very well. Um, using the two parking spots in front of Fitzwillies uh, by adding five tables um, with a total of 16 seats. Um, it, it would be the the two spots right in front um, that are surrounded by the recently installed concrete barriers. And did you have the building department come also or health I, department uh, already? I didn't realize it was an option to have them come ahead. Okay. They, they were, they were here to look at the, the setup in the parking lot, but they have yep. not, they have not been here since the barriers went up. Certainly a designated area, so. Um. Yep. Yeah, I have I have no questions. I mean, your your setup that you walked us through last week is great. How you're handling it? Yeah. Right. Helen, do you have anything? No, I agree. I mean, you obviously know what you're doing since you've done it in the other area. So, um, so do you want me? I'll make a motion to approve sure. um, the um, on-premises alcohol kind of dining do I application. Oh. oh God, oh. Just, there, just to remember that if they're carrying over the sidewalk, you're going to have to conclude the sidewalk as the licensed right. premises. Well, I'm, I have tables on the sidewalk already from a previous extension of premises, so I would assume the sidewalk's already included. Not the whole sidewalk, only the area that was extended into. Okay. So you would have to include the rest of the sidewalk for the purposes of conveying the alcohol to the, the you know, the other extended premises okay. I, okay so do i have to do something differently than i've done no no no, no. The, the, i'm just no, uh, that's us. The commission that's on your end okay uh is it something that's included in the motion to approve or it's just in the yes. paperwork yes definitely what should uh, that language be alan yeah. specifically um to approve the extended premises as shown on the plan and the sidewalk in between for uh, conveying beverages only. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so I'll make a motion to approve um, the on-premises alcohol common big outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces um, as shown on the plan and also including the sidewalk for conveying beverages to um, for very limited DBA Fitzwillie's Toasted Owl at 23 Main Street. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Have a great day. You yep. too. Next, uh, Veracruz Foods, La Veracruzana. Do we have someone? I'm here. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Can you walk us through your application, please? Yep, so it's the same, same sort of setup as everyone else. So we would be putting five tables in front of the, in front of our restaurant across the sidewalk into the barrier part of the parking spaces. Um, <laughs> we'd have a barrier to the, you know, roping off the sidewalk and around our area because of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, we have not had the health department come through, but they certainly will, I'm sure. And we are trying to put up a tent that will go through the building inspection. Okay. I, you have a question? Helen, were you about to say something? Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm looking at the plan and it says not 100% sure because we don't know how much space we are allowed. Is that is that? that so, so now we, we, we measured it out and we also spoke to our neighbor, um, Zephyrs with a carpet. And he says that if we, if we need to move a little bit into that space because they're not allowed retail in this, that section, that we can also do that. And we have his permission on that. And so now we have a better idea. We're not, he does not want us to put a tent in front of his location because it would block it. So the tent that we are getting is just a 10 by 20. It's 12 feet from the barrier to the curb. So it will fit with the, um, easily within that time. The space that we have, when I, when, when I was able to measure it, it's like 12 by 24 and we're getting a 10 by 20 tent. So we'll fall within our space with that tent and he has allowed us to go a little bit into that area if we need to, as long as we don't block his frontage for visual purposes for him. Okay. Um, and so which is, what is this plan showing? Is this plan showing, um, I'm it's, not sure how far it is. The plan is showing um, the, uh, the 10 by 20 tent area, tented area. Okay, and that's the, we'll go a little bit into his space, but he's okay with that. Yes. So, okay. And so you've measured and it's you're able to get six feet between chairs with this so yes. as opposed to like it's like nine feet is nine feet from the middle of table to table and I believe and that I would check with Meredith but I from what right. I'm understanding this nine feet from the middle of one table to the middle of another table to provide that six feet no, no it's nine so, feet edge yeah. to edge oh edge, edge to edge edge, edge of tables yeah. Okay, edge to edge tables. All yeah, right. If people are sitting on the side of the table that that is nearest to the next table, it has to be nine six. feet. If if they're not sitting on the edge, that edge, then it's six feet. Does that make sense? Um, say it one well, more time. Like a picnic think... bench, people don't sit on the end. The picnic benches can be six feet apart end to end because no one is sitting on the end. Okay. But if it's a table and people are sitting on the end. Um, that's closest to the next table, it's nine feet edge to edge. Okay, so we might have to look at that. We did it from nine, nine feet from the middle to nine feet to the other middle of the table. So depending on, but I do feel very comfortable that we have enough space to expand um, into our neighbor's space. He's been very gracious with that. And so we have it measured out at nine feet in the middle to middle. And so we will move them to the appropriate nine feet from edge to edge if we need to. Yeah. I mean, the easy way to think of it or the way I think of it is that you want six feet between people. Chair. So if they're sitting in the chair, so it's kind of like from the back of the chair to the back other back of the one. chair. Yeah. So that's where the nine feet comes in. Yeah. Um, versus the table. And but so I, sorry. Go go, no, no, go ahead. No, I'll make sure that I go over it with Meredith and the building inspector with the tent and everything. Yeah, so the health department is isn't coming out there to do pre-checks. They they ha I guess they maybe happen to do that with local burger, but they're 
they're coming out to do checks after everyone's kind of up and running just to make sure everything's okay. going okay. So the building department is really the the one that's coming out to do pre-operational checks before you can start operating. So okay. he will help you with the measuring. He'll help you with all that. Perfect. Yeah. Annie, I have a question. Do the barriers in that block extend up to Oriental Tastes? Yes. It does. They do? Okay, great. Okay. So is Oriental Taste the tattoo place, the carpet, and then us? And okay, so great. There, there is um, room for to wiggle for everyone there. Perfect. Great. I don't it, have... Um, oh, go ahead. Well, I'm just realizing I'm now looking at the tent um, and just want to make sure all the... Uh, bases are covered. So are you able, I'm just looking at a picture of the tent that shows the, you know, the, like the ropes tying it down. And is that, you won't have to do that, right? No, we won't have to yeah. do that. So you can, it can be freestanding and not it can be. obstruct yeah. the sidewalk in any way. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Not a cheap tent. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready for a motion, Helen? Uh, yeah. So. All right. Uh, oh, will, do we have to, I'm sorry, do we have to include oh. the sidewalk then? In, yes. In terms of our language? So it, yes. So I will, uh, I move to approve the application for the extension of the on-premise on alcohol common Vic outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces, um, including in the plan, the crossing the sidewalk for transporting beverages for Veracruz Foods Incorporated, DBA La Veracruzana, 31 Main Street. Uh, second. All in favor, aye. aye. Thank you very much. Thank you, good, good luck. luck with it. So soon, you know, you. whenever you're ready, whenever you're set up, I would just, just contact the building department and they'll come out usually same day and then I'll send you your license. Okay, beautiful, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, next up we have Celerain Incorporated, DBA Joe's Pizza. Hi, Meg. Hello, everybody. Hello again. How are you? Hello. Hello. Yes, hello you? again. We're happy to see you back. Yes, so, likewise. <laughs> yes, so what did you discover since you were, um, you came last week? Well, I, I hope that I wasn't placed here erroneously because a lot of this is a little bit out of my hands um, and mm -hmm. it's kind of up to the city whom I've been talking to. I don't know uh, how well that's been communicated to you folks, but the talk now is, I guess we can't get those concrete barriers at the end of our parallel parking spots because that only provides 18 feet of clearance for two-way traffic uh, and 23 feet is necessary. Um, so the city is talking about making Market Street into a one-way thus allowing us to push, push those barriers out even further, about six feet beyond the nine feet that the parking spots take up already to allow for 15 feet of passage. Uh, so that would give us a space of about 13 feet, taking into consideration the barriers two feet wide, by about 68 feet, which would be those three spots in front of Joe's. How many feet, did you say 68 feet? Yes, it would be uh, the third, fourth, and fifth parking spot heading north from Graves Ave, which are very wide spots. So um, our plan is to put four, four top tables in that space and two, six top tables, and that would actually give us uh, a fair amount of room to work with space-wise, uh, even distancing those tables, you know, nine feet. That would allow us some room from the entrance, to make sure there's six feet from the entrance into that space and the exit out of that space which we would rope off with a, a stanchion chain link situation. Did you uh, also, find... Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, just as far as the tent goes, um, I did talk to Taylor Rental about being able to procure a like 10 by 40 foot tent that would be, you know, fire repellent, et cetera. And did you find um, with the building department that you didn't have enough sidewalk space in front of 33 market? To put any well, I found that with you folks. Because, I mean, I think that's already been a given, um, okay. even if it's even 36 feet for ADA regulations. Yep. Um, I mean, honestly, like this isn't, it would be great to have all this outdoor seating. I definitely feel a little guilty about making Market Street one way. I would love to maybe just do what I presented last week on the sidewalk and be able to reroute the sidewalk down into those streets and maybe protect those with barriers. But that's not up to me to make that decision, you know? No. I talked to Alan uh, Wolf earlier today after we got I got this uh, plan, 
And I read in your application, your your just going on the record that you'd be willing to bring it in closer. I'm not sure right. that, that a street that wide is going to be two way in whether you bring them in six feet or not. Um, you have diners, I mean, it's one thing when there are cars out there that could be hit. Here we have people who could be injured. So I think that uh, even if you brought it in, I can't say that it's uh, it's a given that uh, that Market Street would remain two way. If okay, I just figured I would throw that out looking at the concrete barriers versus a parked car, which is, you know, 18 feet of clearance. So I just figured I would throw that out there. <laughs> Alan, do you know when a decision will be made about that? I think the decision has been made. The question for, for Alan, for me was, if um, Megan does bring it in closer to the curb, would you uh, do two way? And I think that uh, the prevailing wisdom in city hall is that you know, it's it's a narrow street anyway. Yep. Um, it is sort of almost a courtesy area there anyway when cars are parked. And you know, now that it's people out there, it's you know at least temporarily we're going to turn it into a one way. That's the conventional. You know, that's what they're thinking right now. And I just wanted to convey that even if you moved the barriers in, that might not change that. It won't make a difference. So can we? It's are we able to approve this today if we aren't officially a one-way street yet, or would we need to wait? It's it's gonna be made a one-way, and it's okay. It's, it's not all of Market Street. It's just from from Bridge onto Market to Union, so it's it's okay. not gonna extend all the way down. But yes. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Don't feel guilty about that, Megan. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Well, I, I yeah. And there's other businesses that will benefit from it too. So hopefully, totally. yeah, no I'm guilt. My parking lot to those businesses and such. That being said, I do want to make the point that with a couple of the other folks that uh, presented theirs, there will need a sidewalk to be crossed to bring alcoholic beverages to this outdoor seating. Okay, great. Helen, do you have anything to add or ask? No, I don't. You want to make a motion? Would love to make a motion to approve the uh, application for the on-premises alcohol common big outdoor dining expansion um, for public spaces um, as uh, the plan in the application also including the sidewalk um, including crossing the sidewalk for conveying beverages for um, Sol Rain Inc. DBA Joe's Pizza 33 Market Street. Uh, second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. All right. Good luck with it. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, we have the Hotel Northampton. Hi, how are you? I'm Good, Jeff. how are you? Hi, Hello. Jeff. Answer is sitting here as well, but I'm, uh, I'm the presenter today. Great. Can you walk us through your application? Sure. Can you well, state your full name for the record? Sure. Jeffrey Hess Brooks, H O E S S hyphen Brooks, B R O O K S. Thank you. What we're looking to do is uh, expand our current patio out into the uh, the segment of the courthouse lawn that abuts the, the sidewalk next to our property. That would add 24 seats and uh, onto our existing uh, patio. And look at the diagram. I mean, when we opened the patio, the building department was out. So we're very familiar with the measurements between the, the tables. So we're just looking to add some additional seats because we have had to turn some customers away. Mm -hmm. And who, so Alan, this courthouse lawn is considered public space just like the patio behind Progression Brewery is considered public space? Well, there's a question about that. Um, uh, there's a belief that there's this deed from the 1700s that conveyed the property, but not the courthouse to the, uh, to the state. Uh, the courthouse, but not the property to the state, and the, the city owns that property. Uh, I don't know, Jeff, whether you've been privy to the communications from the trial court's counsel, uh, thinking, and they have some issues. So I'm not really sure at this point, I didn't have time to go and start doing the elaborate deed research that's probably necessary uh, to figure this out, but I think it's going to have to be figured out. Andy, do you have any information on this? I mean, uh, all I had was, was those emails from, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, that I'm pretty sure you were included in too. 
Yeah, you were. Um, I think they were trying to get someone from the trial court to get a ruling from the ethics commission. Right. Because the trial court was a, thought that it might be some sort of uh, breach of the ethics statute to to do this. I, I honestly can't see how that that would be. Um, but um, but then Jared from Comerford's office asked for a plan from the hotel, which we then sent to him. Um, but then there really hasn't been anything else since. Right, so this, the state hasn't cleared this. I'm not sure that it can be licensed. I mean, there is that issue. Um, can, I, can I reach out to Alan and see if he has an update? Sure, you wanna pass over this and we'll get back to it after we find out whether there's been an update? Yeah, I'll text him and ask. Jeff, do you mind if we do that? We'll move on to the next application while not Annie enough. figures. That's see if we can fine. get more information. Yeah. Great. Thanks. So that brings us to Abid Asab at Amanu Cafe. Is Abid on the call? I think I saw him. Yeah, he's there. I'll unmute him. Okay, great. <clears throat> Amanu Cafe, can you hear us? It's not working. We can see you, but can't hear you. Abid, you're muted. Is can you find the unmute button? How is it now? There we go. There you um, go. <laughs> my first time I am using a zoo. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> it Welcome took, to Zoom. Took me a while. You know. Yes. Yeah. There is like a concrete block almost from Spelos to almost to the Indian River, and the only person is there. It's me. Maybe in my next neighbor, like the bakery, sometimes I don't know, he doesn't use this spot. And I, I do have like six tables, and uh, the uh, the inspector of the department, he was there a couple of times, he measured everything, and he, I took some pictures and I sent them to, to him. And uh, I think that's all. Okay, um, just to clarify, because um, you said on the application and on the photograph yeah. it looks like four four tables 16 chairs is that and you were just saying six tables are, are you putting more tables yeah, there's out? like four tables like in the concrete and i have like uh, uh my table from my side for your sidewalk tables yeah but what i'm saying if we, if we can, can you add two more tables because nobody is using that spot you know it's long one there it's only me there you know and concrete block also almost from Spelos almost to the Indian restaurant. Right. And nobody's using that spot at all. It's a huge one. I don't know, is that a question for Alan? I mean, I don't know if are we allowed to So where would where would the two extra tables go in front of? It's, uh, it's in the my right side, you know, close to Donald Moore, you know. Okay, yeah. So because all that block is just, you know, nobody there. It's, it's going to be just empty, you know, because it's only me there. Right. Um, Amy, sorry to drag you into this. If I, can, if I can add two more tables, it would be okay. If not, it's okay with me. I'm just Right. Did we clear that up with Beryl? Um, I think, Abid, have you talked to Maya? Maya, no. Uh, the I, next door? Yeah, yeah. Beryl. Yeah, I will. I will talk to her. I don't. I don't think so. She will mind, you know. I think Annie. What we had said is just case by case. If Maya doesn't mind, it's okay. Yeah. And yeah. Sh sh her her thing was the handicap spot, right? Yes. Okay. So I I think if he if you and work it out, spot, it's all, almost down. You know, people can use it. So if you work it out with Maya, that you can add a few additional tables in front of her area, yeah. then, then you can do that. Okay, that's good. And also just for clarification, did you say there are also two tables in front of your store on the sidewalk? Oh, there's, usually there's only, used to be like two, now it's only one, you know. Oh, okay. Cause, cause there and is he's no always space, had nothing. that, Helen? Yeah. Okay. He's okay. had that from previous 
Yeah, almost for okay, that's fine. 15 years. So. Good. I don't have anything to ask. Okay. Um, Annie, would we need some sort of confirmation from Maya to take spaces, or is this just a neighborly agreement is sufficient? Yeah, I mean, we didn't do that with La Vera Cruzana, so. Yep. I think she wouldn't mind because I do a lot of work for her. I clean her spots all the time, snow and all. <laughs> I do a lot of work for her. Yeah, as long as you guys have an agreement between yourselves, I think that would okay, be Okay, that, that's good. I'll ask okay. her if she wants, if she don't want to disagree with me. Okay, sounds good. Um, Helen, do you have anything else? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, then I will make a motion to approve the on-premise alcohol common victualler outdoor dining expansion application for public space for Abita Saab DBA on Manu Cafe at 44 Main Street. Sidewalk. Oh, yes, and um, also approve the extended premise as seen in the plan for transporting beverages on the sidewalk. Thank Second. you, Annie. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I Thank heard, you. I heard back from Alan. Alan Seawog. Mm -hmm. um, he said there's no ruling yet, and he's wondering if it can be conditionally approved pending the ruling. That's uh, I'm I'm not in favor of, of extending licenses into areas that can't be used. Yeah, that's I why agree. we didn't extend licenses into unapproved areas last time, um, and we waited until it was all worked out because I don't want extended premises hanging out there in areas. Yep. that are not going to be used. That's my so. view. Obviously, the commission can do whatever it wishes to. I mean, I, I feel the same, and Helen and I have been able to be flexible enough on timing with meetings, and I anticipate we'll have more applications in the coming days. So, right. Jeff, are you, that's sort of where we're at. Did you hear what Alan said? I did. I did. Okay, great. Okay. And we so should we'll, definitely we'll just... make sure that Jeff has all of the, the correspondence because I think they're waiting, you know, uh, you sent them a plan or we sent them a plan on your behalf, but, you know, there is this back and forth. If you want to get involved and advocate or hire somebody to advocate for you, you're welcome to do that because the, I will tell you, the Commonwealth is not built for speed in dealing with these right. things. So you may want to get involved. Definitely. Appreciate okay. that. Great, thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. Um, next we have, oh, go ahead, Helen. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say, do we have an application from the roost? Am I just not seeing it? No, we don't, we can skip okay. over oh, okay. that one. Okay, so we are up for Zingara Limited, DBA Packards at 14 Masonic Street. Hi. Hello. Thank you for your patience with my computer ineptitude. That's okay. Thank you for your patience with this meeting. <laughs> uh, um, I'm kind of a rubber stamp of, of uh, Fitzwillies with regard to the parking places uh -huh. directly in front of Packards. Uh, they're 44 feet in length, um, and uh, I would need a passage from the sidewalk from our front door to the area. Um, I was looking at six tables with a, a tent uh, nine by 30 um, within the parking places. Um, the only thing that, um, in speaking with uh, Wayne Fyden uh, through uh, email, um, he mentioned that they're, they may be running out of Jersey barriers. Mm. And that would be something that uh, the building inspector would have to weigh in on first and um, I had a tent scheduled from uh, Northampton Rental Center. Uh, it's the type of tent that's held down by the water barrels. Um, but all that would be a dead issue if they ran out of Jersey barriers and I'd have to go buy them there. I think they're a hundred bucks a, a barrier. But um, that's basically the layout is in full view of of the front windows. The front windows are always in the open position. Um, and the six tables have adequate spacing and signage for customers. Um, employees will all have masks. 
sanitizing station for customers coming in and going out. Um, I think that's about it. I, I, I would have to, I know there's, there's probably 15 or 20 barriers down the end of Masonic Street piled up. I don't know if they were the ones that were used in front of the police station for mm. the protests or if they belong to a, a contractor. I'm not sure. I think that those are for the construction that's happening on Center Street. They're expecting a protest at six o'clock today, so I think they're barricading the police station again with the Jersey barriers. Oh, okay, all right. But the question is, does the city have, a, um, I think I would need one, two, three, four, probably six of them to adequately block off the two parking places. The commission can extend the premises. The barriers will have to be there before you commence. Um, no one on this call can really tell you whether there are going to be barriers that you know will go down there. You know, we, we just have a finite number. So, uh, Alan, does, it, does that mean we have to wait until we know that he's got barriers? No, he can provide his own barriers. Oh, okay. But the barriers have to be there, whether they're city supplied or, or you know, supplied. Well, I realize the, I realize the barriers have to be there. So, uh, would it be uh, if I? Uh, I talked to the building inspector and he told me how many I needed. Could I get a contingent approval on it? Uh, contingent upon the barriers. All of the approvals are contingent on the barriers being there. So um, you showed a plan with barriers and until the barriers are there, you're not going to be able to open. So I don't think that any need to specifically condition that. All we can do is extend the license into that area and then Louie will make sure that all of the safety and and protocols other protocols are taken care of okay uh and my next question is is it the dpw who knows if we have ba extra barriers or uh is there another entity to contact uh i would say wayne i mean wayne and the dpw are in constant contact about this so well, I'll shoot him an email and see if he has enough barriers. But that was the only, uh, in his correspondence to me, that was the only um, apparent fly in the ointment would be running out of barriers. And I had a, a, a question, Amy. Uh, how come the barriers on the south side of Main Street run all the way up to Mr. Shore's vacant building? Where there's nobody occupied for five years. Is that You'll, a question aimed at me? Uh, no, uh, I, I, I basically, I guess the, the commissioner. Uh, I know you would, uh, we discussed that and you would said it's just so a truck doesn't come around the corner and, and mow off some meters, but uh, I don't know if that's that's reason. my understanding is that it's for safety. Annie or maybe Alan can weigh in more, but that it's um, there needs to be that full block of barriers to prevent cars from running into tables that would otherwise just pop up unexpectedly after parking spots. That's my I understanding. That, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's something that the commission can answer. It's not the commission anything that the commission is the commission is responsible for. That's something you should talk to Wayne about because we had a. I think we paid a consultant to give us a plan, and uh, so Wayne would have the answer to that question, Bob. Okay, and one other question. Grapefruit. What is grapefruit on Market Street? It's a gift shop. And um, are barriers necessary in front of grapefruit? I would guess it's the same reason that they're there as they're there on Main Street in front of Eric Schur's building to prevent vehicles from hitting people who are in a uh, locked off parking spot. But I'm not sure because again, like Alan said, the commission, none of the people on the call right now took part in the, the consultant work to establish where those barriers needed to go. Yeah, if you wanna talk about anything that has to do with the plan or the barriers, you should talk to Wayne because he okay. was, yeah. All right, well, thank yep. you for the help, I appreciate it. Thank you. We're so we still... can go, Helen, do you wanna make a motion for the approval? Uh, Yes, and it sounds like we're not using the contingent language because that's just assumed, right, Alan? Correct. 
Okay. Um, so I'll make a motion to approve the application for the on-premises alcohol common big outdoor dining expansion for public spaces, um, including the sidewalk for conveying beverages um, for um, Zingara Limited DBA Packards at 14 Masonic Street. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks very Thank much. You. I'm gonna learn some more about computers, I promise. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Wash It and Wear Incorporated, DBA Jake's Restaurant. Do we have someone here? Yeah, Chris Blair. Good afternoon. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi. You know, Can you? How are you? Good, thank you. Can you walk us through your application? Yes. So um, <clears throat> we are looking for two small uh, seating areas, one directly in front of Jake's um, with three, two tops, two feet um, in diameter um, that would be spaced appropriately. Um, and then one uh, small section of three, two tops as well um, on the sidewalk flush with Silverscape, which we have their permission to do. Um, and I've sent the plans over to Louis. He has approved the uh, Silverscape one. Um, the one in front of Jake's, he's going, going, to, going to inspect at 145 tomorrow uh, to make sure it's up to his liking. Um, we plan to have um, the service with masks, uh, sanitizing stations, all the appropriate spacing and fencing uh, required next to it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we have thoughts on. Okay. And you said Louis approved part of it and then the rest is tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow at 1.45, he'll be by to take a second look. All right. Okay. I don't have any questions to you, Helen. Annie yes. does. Yeah, uh, so um, are the newspaper boxes going to be removed? They'll be moved down the, um, down the line, uh, yes. So they'll be appropriate spacing. Okay, so so someone's scheduled to remove them. Um, they're just being shifted down about ten feet. Okay. Okay. So actually, I mean, I just moved to them. <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, you moved them? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah. And then, did you add any planters or anything in that area? Because I know Louis was concerned about everyone being so close to the curb. Yes, I do have, have a planter which will be installed there today. And are, the, are planters going between the tables and the curb? Um, between um, the curb on one of the sides, okay. on where, where Bank Avenue begins, that's what he indicated to me. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna forward you guys this e email it has a photo on it, so you can just kind of see what what Lily was talking about. Because instead of having the tables up against the building, because there's two benches there, they're gonna have to go across the sidewalk and be on the side close to the street. And mm -hmm. he was just worried that there's a curb there, and there was really nothing protecting anyone on the sidewalk. So, so would you like me to install the planters on that other side to, to create the barrier from the street? Is that what's being Well, asked? so I guess, where did you, where did, are you having the one installed today? Where is that one going? It's going to be um, so, so, the blocking Bank Avenue, uh, perpendicular to the entrance of Jake's on the corner there. Okay, yeah, I think that's where he was hoping. I think that's what. That's what he indicated, yeah, where he wanted it. And I can confirm that with him tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll, he, he'll be checking for that. I just wanted the, to make the commission aware of it. Yep, yep. So I don't know if you guys got that image. Yep, I just got it. Okay. Can you tell me what is, um, 
you know, what's surrounding these areas? Are there ropes? What, what's around it to define? Yeah, it's gonna be you know, plastic lattice fencing, um, some of which I have left over. Um, are also gonna be stands with um, a chain link of some kind to separate them. Uh, something is going to have to surround and you won't be able to commence unless there is, you know, complete barrier around the, the extended premises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was waiting on on the site inspection to see specifically what we would want and then I wouldn't operate obviously until I got that in place. Um, so now, it's, now that I'm looking at it, I can understand things better. So it, those benches, what were you saying that the benches are staying there or are those also being the benches moved? are being removed to, to give greater space. And the reason we didn't apply for the tables in front of the windows that are flush with the building is because we have three exits that are so close, one for, for the upstairs and then the emergency and the entrance to, to Jake. So the spacing wouldn't really work well with six feet from any exit, which I believe is required. Okay. Okay, and it looks like the sidewalk is wide enough. So even with, and I'm still trying to understand, like planters and then table, and I know Louie's going to check all this anyway, there would still be the ADA yeah. compliance on the sidewalk and the remainder of the sidewalk at that point. I mean, there's enough. Still be cleared out on that. Footage, I mean, I know Louie has to sign off on it, so. Um, okay. Um, anything else, Heather? I mean, Helen, sorry. All right. Um, no, I guess not. Okay. Okay. Um, and I will make a motion to approve the on-premise alcohol common victualler outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces, including an extended premise as seen in the plan for transporting beverages for Wash It and Wear Incorporated DBA Jake's Restaurant at 17 King Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, so new business. Annie, what order did we get the extras in today? Um, the order there, oh, I guess you don't see my, uh, progression, Dirty Truth and the brewery. Okay. I don't see Drew here, which is, I guess, odd, but. Okay. So you can, you can we'll just do. go to the Dirty Truth. Okay. Dirty Truth, you're up. Hello. How you doing? Hi there. Good. How are Hi, you? Uh, can you state your name for the record? I don't think we've met you before. Yeah. Uh, Kyle. Sure. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, walk us through your application? Certainly. Um, so we're planning two tables um, right on the facade of our building. Uh, there will be picnic tables um, for four people each table, uh, space six feet apart, um, and then crossing over the sidewalk into the street. Um, according to my measurements, um, there is the ability for six more of those picnic tables with the uh, appropriate six foot distancing. Um, the area would be um, roped off with an entrance and exit, trying to provide uh, one way traffic. Um, you know, sanitizer stations. I, I will be the uh, manager that will be um, out there and present at all times um, with alcohol being served. Um, and, I think that's most of what I have. So I'm just orienting myself to your, your, the plan that you drew out. Yeah. The, you've got the tables directly outside Dirty Truth. So those are outside your big windows, right? Correct. Yep. And then the pedestrian walkway is over the curb or is that uh, still sidewalk? That, that, that's the existing sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. That's existing sidewalk. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. The tree, the tree is in the brick area. So, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's larger than scale. That's hmm. perfect. Okay. Helen, do you have some right. questions? Yeah. And you, when you were doing your measurements, 
were you taking into consideration what we were talking about? Like when you say six feet, is that between the seats or is that between the table edges? Um, like it the, should, should be the seats. So they're going to be picnic tables. So they'll be, you won't be able to move the seats. Okay. Um, okay. So you, as long as you have enough room for that in front of the window there in that picture. Uh, yeah. And, I, I believe. Yeah. Um, I mean, to also, I guess, to be honest, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, if people are gonna be right up to the edge. I'm sure this maybe has occurred to some people when restaurants are next to each other with their outdoor dining. Mm. Oh. So, cause Fitzwillies, their, their tables that are against their oh. facade are pretty much up to our edge. And I don't know, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'll potentially be a first come, first get the area, but um, Right. That, that is a consideration um, that I, I have thought of. And um, I mean, I think at the moment, the way I drew it, there's maybe three, four feet between our tables against the facade. Could you put up some sort of barrier in the, to prevent we, we that? Could, we could, yeah. Yeah, like a plastic shield. Yeah, I guess I would have to, uh, yeah, work with Fred on that for shared responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the same would have to happen out on the, um, the out street. on the parking spots with Vera Cruzana. Right. Yeah, that's an excellent point, actually. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, I almost didn't, but it makes sense to bring it up. <laughs> yes, thank um, you for doing that. And I would think, I mean, I'm hoping that Louis is taking these things into consideration when he's going out and checking the area. I don't know if we've had this situation yet, honestly, though, yeah, that, that we've had these back to back. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's, uh, I'm hoping that that's something that he's taking into consideration as well. Yeah. Um, and he hasn't been by the check. No, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. I don't have any further questions. Yeah, neither do I. Okay, do you want to make a motion? Uh, yes. <laughs> My cheat sheet in front of me, I'd like to make a motion to approve on the on-premise CIS Alcohol Common Vic Outdoor Dining expansion, expansion Application for Public Spaces, including the sidewalk for conveying beverages for um, Lanron LLC DBA, The Dirty Truth at 29 Main Street. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Good luck Thank you. Bye now. Okay. Uh, Drew is here now if you want to go back okay. or if you want to keep going. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's go, Drew, you want to walk us through your update? Sure. My apologies. I, uh, I was thinking four like last time, but right. we are about to open our patio on the back. So we're running around right. here. Okay. Um, so thank you for putting me on the agenda for this week. Um, walking through this one, it's requesting the use of three parking spaces plus the space between the parking and our curb side where our loading dock is. Um, I assume some sort of Jersey barriers will be required to protect, protect people. Um, and then I had two tables up next to the window, which my assumption is will require some sort of shielding from uh, a four foot ADA sidewalk. Mm -hmm. There's space for that to maintain the ADA? Yeah, the sidewalk itself um, is, I put on that plan, I think 68 inches. Yeah. Um, from the wall, we sort of have jut in here. So from the right, wall, right. the sidewalk width itself, and then there's, there's brick meter stuff to the curb. Um, but yes, it uh, should be more than ample. Uh, in my original okay. calculations, I didn't see how people could walk down that sidewalk with six feet on both sides. Um, but then shielding could facilitate that. So in the event that there are no more Jersey barriers available from the city, are, are you planning to procure them? Um, that, I would have to look into what they cost, where you get them. Yeah. Uh, if we're talking about water-filled ones or cement ones, um, would have to run the cost analysis on 
I put them in there without knowing how far apart they're supposed to be placed. Um, right. I just drew them in there and I see the ones on Main Street and things are much thicker than mine. So um, I think I was leaning more towards the water filled in my diagram. Um, so yeah, obviously if they aren't any available, I would have to figure out if it's financially uh, right. makes sense for me to, I mean, as you know, there's a huge investment in all this. Sure. Stuff yeah, absolutely. To, may never be able to use again. Exactly. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> Understood. Let's make Northampton al fresco everywhere. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, Helen, do you have any questions? Yeah. No, I mean, just, you you know, we just went through this, just so you know. I, yeah, my apologies. Hang on. Sorry. I don't know if I went away. Um, and it's the same thing with Packards that um, there's this question about whether there's Jersey barriers and if they're available and if they're not, then it is um, this personal investment, um, which is, um, could be a lot to ask. Um, but so, I mean, so the only, so I understand because I know you came with this proposal before or something close to this proposal Correct. and I missed us something changed that we weren't allowed to, that before we couldn't. It seemed, um, approve it. It seemed there was confusion about um, the use of parking spaces on okay. streets yeah, and at, conversation. At the time of your last people. meeting, we did no determination was made as to whether they were going to designate or allow these to be designated as outdoor dining areas. Um, and since then, you know, the decision has been made that it's fine, with the caveat that there may not be enough Jersey barriers to get over around there. Okay. 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 And, and so, oh, go ahead. I was no, just go ahead. Say, just, just for ahead. clarification, you know, we can go ahead and approve it, but you know, everything obviously, even though we won't say the terminology, it's contingent on getting the Jersey barriers. It is, you know, it means that they need to be there and everything needs to be approved by the building department, whether or not we approve this extension or not, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yes, conditions. Okay. Um, okay. So I don't have any other questions. I don't have other questions either. Um, I will make a motion then to approve the, um, actually, Helen, do you have it right in front of you with his full business? Because uh, I've lost it. Admit, yes. I have so um, many things open. Oh, shoot, I did. Uh, I had it a second oh, ago. There it is. Okay, Thank I've you. got it. Oh, yeah. You've got it? Okay. okay. It's all Go yours. for it. It's all you. Oh, me? Okay, great. Then I will uh, make a motion to approve the, um, the on-premise alcohol common victualler outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces for, um, hold on, sorry, I have to get back to that. Uh, for Think Tank Brewers LLC, DBA Progression Brewing Company at 9 Pearl Street. Um, also, taking into account the extended premises seen in the plan for conveying beverages across the sidewalk. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, luck. You. One quick question. Would that be Louie that would provide? Provide the barriers? Um, I can't hear you. Can you use water filled versus cement, for instance, which could be a big difference. So I didn't know who to follow up with on the, that item. Wayne, is that Wayne or Luke? it's Wayne? I it's mean, Wayne. it's Wayne. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or or Alan Wolf. Okay. Okay. I thank you all for your time and consideration. Great. Right. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck with the reopening. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Okay, next up, we have the brewery. Janet, hi. How hi. are you? Hello. How are you? Good. I mean, Can you yeah. walk, us, walk us through your plan? Yes. So, um, what now, do you have the plan in front of you? Because I just, mm -hmm. okay, good. So, this is to scale. And um, 
what you see is Brewster Court and then the five tables along the length of the sunroom. So those are two tops and the tables that we have are round. Um, so they're, and they're appropriately distanced. Um, and then in front of our little garden on the brick patio side, so this is parking garage side. I know everybody knows that, but I'm just saying it for the sake of saying it. So on our little brick patio in front of the garden would be two more two tops. And then where the bike path is, I'm bike path, the bike um, rack would be a four top round. Um, and then you can see two more two tops kind of sprinkled into the brick patio. So I think it's all, I think it's 24 um, for 24 people and very widely spaced. Um, I don't have any structure or barriers. It's a pedestrian walk. There's no automobile traffic. Um, and I think that's, that's it. I think you would need um, just, some sort of and, roping know, we have, or something. Of course, that big, huge deck upstairs, but we're not prepared to get the ship going quite yet. You would need some sort of barrier, some sort of roping in front of the tables since it's sidewalk space. Yeah, you're going to need to delineate the area. So, roping, you, you, like it all needs to be in con contained. So, we have um, planters that we could certainly use um or something like that and so from here if you all approve us then do i do we you'll receive if we get it all together properly from louis and then so, you can yeah so out. when you're ready when you're ready to go you call the building department and they'll come and do an inspection and then they'll let me know and then i'll send you um, an amended license okay okay fair enough so that would be my next call is to Louie. Yeah, once you've contained the area and you think you have the tables and everything set up appropriately, appropriate distance, then you'd call Louie. Okay. Great. And Alan, Alan, do you have any? Oh, sorry, uh, Annie. No, no, that's okay. I just had a question for Alan when you guys, when you're done. Um, okay, well, I was gonna ask, I mean, just so, I understand because you were saying that you have the outdoor deck, but you're not ready to go to that. Alan, is that like if they were ready to space the tables and have the staffing and everything, is that considered an outdoor eating area? And and I guess the other question is, do they need, would she even need approval for us from that? Because it's not extending onto a public area. It's just part of their existing area. She would have to check with, again, with probably with Louie on that because um, I know it's covered, and so any space that's covered that doesn't have at least 50% of its sides open uh, does not qualify as outdoor dining. So I'm sure you could do some stuff up on the, up on the deck, but um, you know, you'd have to check with Louie exactly how you'd have to lay that out in, in what areas, unless, of course, you decided to remove the covering. Then you're, then you're good to go with you know, properly spaced tables. I think you would have to file a plan with Louie just so he knows what you're doing and the health department can inspect and know what to expect when they do inspect. Okay. Um, meanwhile, though, what we're talking about is downstairs, mm -hmm. this particular plan. What, what? Oh yeah, that's, I didn't mean to confuse it. I just was thinking for your, for my edification. And so okay. you would know if and when you did want to expand to the deck. I was curious about how that works and 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 also just clarifying that doesn't need to go back to the license commission because we're not it's not an extension onto a public area. So that's no, completely that's, separate. I didn't mean to confuse what you're doing. That's right? Is that oh is that false? That area is already licensed. So no, right. they wouldn't she wouldn't need to come back to the right. license commission, but she would need to go to Louie and Meredith. Yeah. I guess I was just bringing it up just so so you'd know but not to confuse with this approval of what we're doing now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's okay. No, it's just, you know, yeah. anything that can be fast-tracked. <laughs> just want yes. to point out. Um, all right, so I don't have any questions about this, this okay. area that we're approving today. I don't either. Okay. Do you so, want to make the motion? Can I? Sure. Oh, oh, sorry, okay. Annie does. 
Alan, should we mention the thing that Wayne was talking about this morning, or is that going to go in? Oh, right. Um, that's not a condition for the license commission. No, what I Wayne know, but what Wayne pointed out is that your roof drops snow there. So if we have an October snowstorm, you're going to have to get the tables out of there. No worries. Absolutely. <laughs> so that'll probably there's going to be another <laughs> license, an occupancy license that's going to have to be signed, and it should be put in there just so that it's clear that you're going to terminate on the first major snowstorm in, in October. I think a lot of people are going to terminate after a major yeah. snowstorm in October, but yeah. um, you have a particular problem with the snow falling off your roof in that area. Right. Okay. Anything else, Annie? I guess I thought it was the parking garage roof that they pu we push snow onto that area. Oh, I don't know. I thought there was, there's some place that snow falls into that area. I can't imagine that it, it falls. No, I thought Wayne was saying that it falls into this area, not that, that the city pushes it into this area. He said um, we should make sure that they know if there's an October snowstorm surprise, the snow on the top deck of the garage oh. gets pushed off into, the, into this area, so it is their obligation to move out of there, like if, if that were to happen. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. Okay. No, we will be out. Before any snow, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have any diner <laughs> at that point. <laughs> okay, so should we go for it? Can I do it? Go for it. Do it. All right. I will make a motion to approve uh, to approve um, the on premise. Sorry about that. Um, Common Vic outdoor dining expansion application for public spaces for. Um, uh, Brewster Court Pub Inc. DBA Northampton Brewery at 11 Brewster Court Northampton. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Janet. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye. Good, Good luck. Ya. Annie, was that it for our extras? That was it. Okay. Great. Right, moving on. New business. Do we have any new business today? Well, we just kind of went through it, but and I didn't I didn't put anything on there to discuss our next meeting date. Alan, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, you can always set a meeting date. Okay. Um, do you, do you meet, need me for this discussion? No, you can go. Thank you so much. Goodbye all. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Alan. Bye. Um, so what is it Wednesday? I, I mean, I feel like a lot of the applications we've gotten through already. I, I don't know how many more. I mean, I'm sure there will be more. Um, but I know the Hotel Northampton will want to come back. Um, I don't know if the roof is still want to want to submit an application. So I don't know, I would say probably like, again, like a Wednesday or Thursday next week. Wednesday is fine. I mean, I always think the sooner the better probably for these restaurants. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the same thing, but I also don't wanna have it too early where we haven't gotten right. any applications, so. Right. Um, I, Wednesday yeah. feels good to me, I mean. Yep. Okay. Natasha. Yeah, I can think of five or six Wednesday's that come back, but no, Wednesday's good. All right. Is this time better than four or is three better? Or... I can carve out really anything after two, so whatever right. works yeah. for you all. Should we say three? I mean three yeah. is fine. Okay. Wednesday at three. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, do okay. Uh, uh, can we, I have a funeral to go to next week. Oh, sorry. And I know it's on Thursday, but I'm pretty sure there's something on Wednesday too, but I just don't know what time. So can we tentatively say Wednesday at three? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll let you guys know. Okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, sorry. Are we done with that? Because I have a question, which I guess is new business. Yeah. Um, what is the update with brew practitioners in Florence? Seen a lot of buzz on social media. <laughs> I'm just curious <laughs> what is they happening. They cannot open until phase four unless they have a food truck on site. Okay. Oh, so the, now is the, because I know there's a sole argument. I mean, just so I know, is it true that they had to get a food license? Is that accurate? They don't have a food service establishment permit from the health department because they don't have a kitchen. Okay, because they have something that is making them think. But I mean, because I, I they mean, have something from the state that is making them believe that they can open. Okay, because they because they're suggesting that they had to get some kind of food permit from the city to open. They would need to, in if they wanted to open in phase two, but. The city's not going to give them one because they don't have a kitchen. Okay. Or I but should say. And if they have a food truck on site, they yeah. can be open. But if okay, so no they don't. Truck, okay, this claim, can't. this claim of having had to purchase the retail food license is not accurate then. Is that? Honestly, I haven't been paying attention to it because Meredith said, bottom line, they can't open until phase four. So. Okay. I mean, I'm just curious because I mean, we've had this thing with the city before where, you know, people have to get permits and then later they say, why did I have to get that permit? So I was actually curious, were they required to, for whatever reason, get some kind of retail foods permit? And that, which I know is not our department. Well, but, um, the health department that, wouldn't give them that permit because they don't have right. it. In. Okay. And is the, is it a concession that's being made to allow a food truck? Because that's technically not that's the establishment's state. kitchen. That's a state, um, one of, that was in one of their guidelines. I think, okay. I, I think I sent it to Amy, but, um, part of that phased reopening, one of the things, the six yeah. million things that he issued. Yeah. Bur it's in there. Breweries and wineries are allowed to, let's see. They, they may establish new seated service and, and which would mean they would need permission from tap from the town licensing and a food truck can be used to prepare food for table for seated table service. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't have the time to, to, to you don't want me to send you the link to what is doing. So I, 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 I just pulled it up. I hadn't, <laughs> no. I hadn't seen it. How many, oh, there's oh, multiple had, posts. There's I, a whole yeah. bunch of, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, and I, I started reading, but I think there's probably like 800 comments by now, and everyone is up in arms and hates the city. So I just thought it was worth it. Everyone <laughs> always know. hates the city. We don't do yeah. anything right. We can't please them yeah. all. It's like... You should get yeah. the White Hut food truck to show up there. They would be packed, like... Yeah. I know. Well, it seems like there was talk on there about getting certain food trucks, but I don't. I have so a I feeling food trucks are probably in high demand, much like Jersey barriers. So yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it seemed like half the people in the comments were saying that they were going to help them procure whatever they needed to, but we'll see what happens. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> Anything uh, else? Not for me. Annie, you good? I'm good. Okay. Then this meeting is adjourned. I second. <laughs> oh, motion. <laughs> I'm going to make that motion, Helen, to adjourn this meeting. And I'm going to second it. And uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Guys. Thanks, everyone. I'll, I'll Thank let you guys. know next Wednesday's meeting. Okay. okay. Thank you, Annie. Right. Thank you.